This is a short video to show you the basic steps to create a cookie cutter. You're going to be doing a cookie cutter that you are going to then 3D print and it's a simple exercise in drawing shapes in SketchUp and getting used to the 3D printer afterwards. Now all cookie cutters start pretty much the same way. I normally start with a simple rectangle and I set it out to be bigger than what I'm going to need. Now in my case I know that 100 by 100 will do me just fine. That's pretty small so I'm going to zoom extents and I'm going to use my scroll wheel to zoom out. I'm then going to take my push pull tool and I'm going to pull it up to be 2 millimeters. That's my basic build platform for my cookie cutter. Now I'm going to do a simple circular cookie cutter so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find the center by dragging off that line and finding the midpoint. I'm going to drag off that edge there and I'm going to find the midpoint there. I'm going to take my circle which as you can see up here has 24 segments and I'm going to create it to have 40, type in the number, 40 millimeters diameter. Now my cookie cutter has to have three different rings. Now because all I'm doing is a circle, this is where I can start creating my three concentric rings for pushing and pulling. If you're doing something a bit more complicated, you're going to have a lot more drawing to do here on the surface before you even think of going to this next step. I'm going to create three concentric rings. I'm going to take this here and I'm going to push in for the parallel edge and I'm going to go in one millimeter. And again, same tool, my offset tool and I'm going to go off into here and I'm going to go in one further millimeter. Now this works for me because I have a simple circle, same as you do, just straight off what SketchUp knows about, the offset works really well. If you've done a more complicated shape, this is not going to work as well or might not work as well and you may have a whole lot of cleaning up to do because what you want to be able to do is hover over here and see that the surfaces are um, hatched and shaded like that. So each of these three surfaces here must be individually shaded and separate from the fourth one on the outside. Now to make the cookie cutter I am firstly going to get rid of my outside ring and I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it back down like that so that it disappears. Now I have learned that it is a good idea to check underneath because I have seen that sometimes, and I don't understand why, it hollows out the shape and this causes problems later. So to fix that we're just going to create a line between any two points on the cookie cutter that puts in the surface. I can actually delete the line afterwards and the surface remains. So once again I have a solid shape and I have three separate surfaces on the outside. One, two, three. So three separate surfaces on the top surface. Now this one here is two millimeters thick and that's the little room you grab with your fingers. I can make a simple cookie cutter that just cuts out round shaped biscuits and to do that I'm going to use my push pull tool. I'm going to push this back by two millimeters and that gives me a hollow shape and as soon as I've done this I can pull this up by maybe ten millimeters and there I have a cookie cutter. There are a few things that I can do from here to make it better. Actually, I'll do it before I start pulling. But at the very least, those are the steps for a cookie cutter. So just let me review what they were. I'm going to go back and do a little bit here. You start out with a shape here, which is bigger than you need, and I suggest you make it two millimeters high. You push away the background and you're going to need to check whether you still have a solid shape underneath. If not, you're going to need to put a line to heal the surface and you can delete the line afterwards. At that point, you can come over here and you can look at your different surfaces and check that they're all here. But what you're going to do is, if you're going to have an empty cookie cutter, you're going to cut away the inside and you're going to pull up the outside. Now you can also be a bit more complicated than that. I'm going to go back to the point where we have the basic outline done and we still have a flat surface. 
I might decide that I want to add something extra into it. So I'm going to come along here and I'm going to put down a hexagon in here and I'm going to make it 15 and there we go. So now instead of actually pushing this back, the surface here, oops, not that one, this one here, instead of pushing it back by two millimeters, I'm just going to push it back by one. And that means that this is going to remain as a solid surface. And I'm going to pull this up by two or by a further one. So I have a two millimeter height there. You can put it up by a little further if you want to. And I'm probably not going to be cutting through the cookie. I want to make that indentation on the cookie. My cookie cutter might not be quite as my cookie might not be quite as thick. I'm only going to pull that up by eight. Now I have a second cookie cutter. This one has the same ring around the outside, but I have a solid back here. And I can show you that when I rotate around, I still see the underside. I don't see this. I have a solid back and I have a pattern on here, which makes an indentation on the cookie. This is a slightly more difficult cookie to make, but it is an interesting one and is well within your capabilities. Of course, you can get a little bit more fancy with your shape here. What I've done is turn this into a star. And what you will see is that now this is going all the way out to the edge. Something else that is interesting, though, is when you look down on it, we have these corners here. We have sharp corners here between the points of the star and the circle of the cookie cutter. And we also have these corners here, which aren't so bad. These are fairly large angle um, corners, but they are corners nonetheless. Now, you do need to consider the nature of cookie dough as to whether they would get caught in corners. And one of the things that is worth thinking about is how you can actually make sure the cookie dough does not get caught in various places. Make sure that if you have any indentations or any protrusions, that they are not too small, that you do not have any really tight corners anywhere that you want. So what you might want to do is round off all the corners here like this so that you get no sharp corners and no gaps or anything for the cookie dough to stick into. Now I mentioned the gaps I would have to think about whether that gap is even too small but certainly I don't have a sharp point here I don't have a sharp corner there and I don't have a sharp corner there so that's a great improvement on the original or the previous design with a sharp cornered star. There is one more thing which you might be able to do and this is probably only going to work if you have a regular shape as your outline it probably will not work if you have something more complicated the additional challenge for you is to have a look and see whether you can create a cookie cutter with a sharp lip where before this was a squared off lip so I can show you what it was before is this was all squared off but uh, if you could do that, well, that is an extra challenge again. So those are the basic steps to making a cookie cutter. Uh, it's up to you to see how complicated and how interesting a shape you can do. But just to review, you create a build platform that is larger than you're going to need and make it two millimeters thick. You draw your shape that you are going to want and you need to have that complete and ready to go because the next thing that you're going to be doing is you're going to use the offset tool and you're going to create two further images copies of that uh, either inside or outside your shape and they should all be one millimeter apart. You're going to have then decide which bits you're cutting away and when you cut away the outside remember to check the underside to make sure you still have a solid shape and heal the surface if you need to. Uh, you decide whether you're going to be cutting away this back surface and have a hollow cookie cutter. If you are go ahead and do it. Uh, if you're not then what you do is you're going to push this back down by one millimeter so it's only one millimeter thick and you're going to pull this up by one or two millimeters everything that's going to poke into the cookie cutter needs to be high enough and you're going to take your outside here and you're going to pull it up by between 8 and 10 millimeters. That will give you the cookie cutter and you should then be able to export it to the printer and we shall be able to 3D print it and see how it comes out. Good luck, let's see what you can do.